Welcome to a very special mini show where we'll be unboxing quite possibly the first Amiga 500 mini. My name's Mike and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. <laughs> In early January this year, I got the opportunity to unbox an Amiga 500 Mini, possibly the first unboxing of this console. In fact, this console we're gonna be looking at in the video today is the 11th console to come off the production line. Now, if you're new to the Retro Gamer Boy show, we cover brand new games that come out for old tech and all kinds of retro gaming. And if you like what you see today, why not consider subscribing? You can do that by clicking on a little button just below this video here. And there's a ton of other youtube -y buttons you can click to interact with what we're doing here at the Retro Gamer Boy show. So a little context before we go into the unboxing. I've been in the games industry for now 20 plus years, 22 years, working in AAA gaming, throughout my career uh, and the new company that I'm working for I get to work with awesome people that have been in the games industry. Now one of my colleagues who's responsible for designing, developing and manufacturing this awesome mini console let me know that he was making it and asked if I wanted to unbox one of the first consoles to come off of the production line. So I jumped at it, he brought it into the office and what we're going to look at now is the first, one of the first unboxings of the Amiga 500 mini. So here it is, brand new, steel wrapped. This is the 11th console to come off the production line and we're really lucky to get the opportunity to do one of the first unboxings of the Amiga 500 Mini. Now my first impression as I take it out the bag here is that this feels like it could be a Nintendo Switch unboxing or a Mega Drive Mini unboxing. The quality of materials here is amazing. You've got this lovely glossy print over the games, uh, over the imagery on the box here, and the card feels awesome. And then as we open it up, we have this plastic cover protecting the console. And oh my God, look at the color there. It looks absolutely authentic. I'm blown away by how accurate a Mini this looks. And unlike something like the Mega Drive Mini or the uh, Super Nintendo Mini, there's, there's a lot more that's had to go into here. Now, obviously these keys are molded in, they're not functional, but the fact that they've gone to that level of detail, that level of quality for this product is fantastic. Amazing fan service. And we've got the ports on the back here. The power button's got a lovely motion when you click it in and out again. I really like they've kept the ports on the back here. They haven't stuck any on the side there. It kind of keeps the authenticity of the mini console that they've tried to create. Now this manual here is inlaid into the box and it just shows how much detail these guys have gone to in creating a great unboxing experience. Now while I was unboxing this, I was talking to my colleague who created this mini console and we were talking about our time in the industry and it turns out that we probably met 18 years ago. At a conference called ECTS, there was a, an after party held by Sony. I was working as a junior artist and I managed to blag my way into the VIP area and I was talking to Phil Harrison there for a bit. Turns out my colleague was spent the whole night with Phil and a couple of other colleagues there, so we probably met 18 years ago and now I'm unboxing his latest mini console. So a very comprehensive manual there, again, super high quality. Now as we lift this top tray off, we can see the two peripherals and again, the attention to detail here is amazing. So we'll have a look at the mouse first. The box quality is lovely. I love the red that they've got over here. Here's the HDMI cable, and look at this. It is the same color as the Amiga 500. The same with the mouse here. The USB cable that's going into it, uh, exactly the same color. I love the attention to detail in this. Now the mouse here is an optical mouse, so it's not a ball mouse, so you don't have to worry about cleaning that out. But the motion on the buttons here feel very, very genuine. You can't hear it, but again, my colleague is uh, telling me, regaling me with the stories of how they debated the colors, the individual colors for the cables and the different buttons here, but also how the mouse should depress how it feels in your hand. A lot of effort went into creating this mini console. Now here's the joypad as we unbox this. Again, the box feels lovely. And look at this. This is the USB power cable, and again, the same, it's not a, a, a standard 
rubbish black cable that they've chucked in there. It is a authentic looking cable. So you're getting a real authentic experience when you get this mini console. And here's the joypad. Feels lovely. The buttons feel great. I know the guys went to a lot of effort to make this joypad feel comfortable, feel like a, an Amiga joypad. So there we have it, one of the first unboxings for this awesome Amiga 500 Mini. I absolutely love what these guys have done, not only with the Amiga console, how genuine they have been with the parts, even the cables, the USB cable being the same color as the Amiga, but also the unboxing experience. It's absolutely first class. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, remember you can always subscribe to the show by clicking on a little button just below this video and we make brand new retro gaming videos every single Monday and so that you don't miss them you can also click on a little bell just located underneath this video now if you can't wait until next week don't worry because we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy two of which you can watch over here <laughs>